Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Doing Jeremy Wednesday for today's uh, second video. So we're going to have a look at the uh, Jeremy seasonal model uh, for uh, this one. We're going three months ahead through uh, July, August, and September. To see what the Jeremy is showing in detail uh, for the next three months. So I shall get to that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video I see was our 6 a.m. upload, and later on today we're going to have a change of morning day, that's going to include all our regular features as well. So uh, keep checking back to the channel for more, keep liking, sharing, and subscribing, thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the JMA season model, then we're going to start off with uh, month number one, this is July, we start with JMA 500 millibar, height anomaly is looking for July. Uh, 2022 from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this is the uh, North Pole of the Northern Hemisphere just here. This is the wider Arctic Circle around there, and of course not the middle latitudes through here. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red above average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, and as I say, this is how the 500 millibar height on anomaly looks uh, for July. And it looks unsettled actually, an unsettled July to come. If the JMA is right, with below average heights sitting over and just to the west of the country, and bringing in a jet stream uh, like that. So this is an Atlantic-driven July, would be an unsettled month, probably quite a coolish month as well. Um, there's a little bit of ridging just to our south and, uh, and, and southeast that might allow some hotter air come up from the south at times. If it does, we'd be chopping below to the west. It's likely to be volatile and um, very quickly trigger thunder. But overall, it looks like a relatively cool and unsettled month there, I have to say. Uh, we're going to August, this is month number two, and then we find that the low pressure begins to push north. So this is probably a rather better month from a drier, warm, warmer perspective. There's no particularly evident area of high pressure, but uh, lots of low pressure up here within the North Latitudes around Greenland and Iceland, implying, I think, that there's probably going to be a strengthening of the Azores high. So actually, August could be the best month of, of the summer, to be honest. I doubt it's anything to get that excited about, but out of the three summer months, August probably has the driest and uh, warmest weather this, this time. Uh, which is a little bit different for, for August. Normally August is like the, the month that lets, uh, lets the side down with the summer. But that does imply that August could be a little bit better from a warmer, drier perspective. And then we go through the month number three to September. And that one looks very unsettled, actually, uh, with, again, top of below average heights parked over top of the UK and Ireland. So, so that's like a deep trough of low in 500 millibar. Height anomaly, and this time a jet stream is down here as well. So we turn much cooler and uh, much wetter as well as we get through into September. Bear in mind that's month number three, so it's the most unreliable part of all of this. But the chairman is suggesting quite an unsettled time to come, really. Uh, this is how the overall three monthly anomaly is looking for July to September 2022, and it is unsettled overall for the three months. Next 90 days, averaging it all out, does come out with uh, low pressure in control sitting over and just to the west of the country, you know, uh, on average. But there is potentially something a little bit drier, uh, warmer on offer for August. So let's have a look at the mid latitude view now. Now we can't see the Arctic, Greenland, Iceland, Scandinavia, all those areas are off the chart up here. However, we've had a look at that view down, so we know what's going on uh, from a northern hemispheric uh, perspective. British Isles and Ireland in the top right hand of the chart as you're looking at it, of course. So, month number one, uh, back to month, month number one, July, which is unsettled, and we have low pressure set, uh, set over the western country, and we bring in the wind from off the Atlantic Ocean. Temperature anomalies are about average, maybe slightly above, so not that cool a month, really, but um, nothing particularly hot doing there. The main thing is that it is a rather unsettled month, especially for the northern and western part of the country with above average rainfall. But it's not quite as wet in the south and southeast as you might have thought, given that uh, 500 millibar height anomaly. The uh, wind flow and direction uh, arrows looking like this, always a little bit hard. To make these out, but you can see the overall sort of westerly or northwesterly, really, uh, with with that trough of low pressure over the uh, country. 
that's how uh, August looks then. So uh, the low pressure then begins to push northwards. High pressure potentially developing a little bit uh, in the Atlantic. Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. Close to or slightly uh, above average temperatures uh, there for August. And a drier month as well. So the precipitation is turning drier than uh, average, slightly drier than average through uh, most areas. The uh, latest wind flow, uh, or the wind flow chart, looking like that. Um, so, the black arrows look like they're coming in from more of a northerly direction, actually, uh, here, through, through the country, and, like, the southerlies are just there, so, a little bit of a strange one. Um, probably variable winds under uh, high-ish uh, pressure. We can actually see the mean sea level pressure an uh, anomaly as well. I see, so this is uh, pressure for sea level. And, um, you know, a little bit difficult to, to decide that that may be indicating um, some, some lower pressure, uh, if anything. So it's a bit of a strange one there uh, for August. A little bit of a difficult one to decipher. Uh, we have in September, though, and that is very clear cut. We've travel low pressure right over the top of the country. Looks like it's an unsettled September. Again, temperature normally holds up close to or slightly uh, above average, so not particularly cool coming up. Um, but rainfall goes significantly uh, above average, clear cut, wetter than average month coming through there in September, with the whole of the UK and Ireland under those uh, blue curves indicating above average rainfall. And as far as the uh, wind flow uh, charts is looking, we are on the cool side of the jet, actually. We can see here with the black arrows going down towards Spain, uh, telling us that uh, the jet stream is uh, running through here somewhere. And uh, under this trough of low pressure, lots of variable winds, but we're putting winds in from the north. So I would suspect that, or the northwest, so I suspect that is quite a cool month as well, as being uh, a pretty wet month too. So it is a mix three months to come, definitely. August looks like it's possibly the best of it, but July and particularly September shaving up to be rather cooler and wetter, if anything, there, I, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's not the best three months on the way, but remember, it's only one model. It could look completely different when it updates next month as well. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with uh, big health warnings and large pinches of salt attack. So we'll just wait and see how it pans out. Uh, we'll be back later on with uh, the uh, 10 14 day. That's going to include all of the red features, so come back for that then. Uh, but for Jeremy Wednesday, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.